Hi, this is OK Art. I'm Kay, and today we'll be flipping through these three Disney-themed coloring books. Let's get started. We're going to start with this, which I picked up from Amazon. It says Disney Characters Steampunk Coloring Book. Um, it does not have an artist listed anywhere, so not sure on that one. If you do know, let me know in the, down in the comments. I started coloring this one with Prismacolors, and then I think I got kind of bored and didn't know what to do from there. <laughs> it does have a This Book Belongs To page with Belle and the Beast. As a test color page, I was testing out some how different Prismas laid on top of black. Here is the only one in here that I've colored. This one's of Ariel. I did black out the background because I felt like it was too busy. Um, she's done with Prisma colors, same with the bubbles. I did lay a little bit of um, eyeshadow over the bubbles afterwards. And I made these bubbles using a tutorial by Super Ray Dizzle. Belle and the Beast, Jasmine, Elsa, Rapunzel, Tinkerbell, Alice, and the White Rabbit here. Um, it's marked with orange because I do want to color that one next. Um, I just have to figure out when. <laughs> Pocahontas. Merida. Um, Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. Tiana, Sleeping Beauty, here's the Cinderella, the same Cinderella I believe that's right here, yep, same one, Goofy, Peter Pan, Meg, Donald Duck, Moana, um, Jane from Tarzan, Anna, Mulan, Aladdin, Jesse, Woody. This is one background I don't feel like is too busy for the subject, whereas some of the other ones, like the, uh, let me see, like Anna's, I, I feel like that's very busy. If you have any pointers on how I could make this less busy or not take away from the main subject, let me know in the comments. Tarzan. And then there's a few blank pages here at the end. Alright, on to, obviously it can't be a Disney flip through without a Thomas Kincaid book. I have not colored anything in here because it is very, very intimidating. <laughs> It does, on one side, have the Thomas Kincaid image. I'm just going to show you the coloring side. This one is the dwarves.
I really wish that they hadn't made this huge clump of uh, pixie dust here because I don't know what to do with that now. Um, I really wanted to color this one because look, look how beautiful that is. Um, but this confuses me. <laughs> I really like this one too. I've seen a few people, Sarah Renee Clark, a few others, um, do this one beautifully. If I'm going too fast, um, you may pause to get a better look at any of these. Um, also, just let me know down in the comments so that I can fix that. Go slower in the future. I really like this Dumbo one. I do have this page marked in orange as one that I want to attempt first. It did seem less um, intimidating than the ones I've just flipped past. <laughs> so it's a plan for the future. I am so sorry the heat just kicked on. Our house is 100 years old, so you might hear that. <laughs> in the background. Another thing with these Thomas Kincaid boots is all the heavy black lining, and um, I'm open to any tips or tricks that anyone has to get rid of that underneath your coloring, or I think I've seen people use um, like clear gesso. Um, if you know any other tips, let me know. I have this one marked. I, I just really like this one. It's so cute. Look. It's just fantastic. I love that.
Oh, look, another marked one. My daughter's second birthday is coming up when we are doing Alice in Wonderland themed. There is no way I can have this done <laughs> by then, but we can try. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I love this one. Getting near the end here. And I think I think that does it. That is the end of the Thomas Kincaid one. Now last but not least, um, Disney is technically Star Wars now. So here is the um, Color Your Own Star Wars Han Solo. Uh, it, I got it from Barnes and Noble, I believe. Um, $7. Not colored anything in this one either. It's very comic book. These are all the artists. Um, you can pause and read them. I do not know if they're in order. I would assume it'd be chronological, but that's a lot of different artists to have listed. There is a mix of line art and some uh, grayscale, and then some like super bold comic book style in here. So it is a good mixture of um, of. Uh, coloring book styles and artist styles, I guess. There's a few of these different um, comic book covers in here to color. I like this one. Boba Fett page.
I do have this page marked. Um, I have colored Stormtroopers before, um, like Prisma Color um, and uh, using lighting inspiration from some of Sarah Renee Clark's um, Stormtrooper um, videos. I have that one, not this one, the Stormtrooper one marked, um, simply because some of these pages I don't know how to color, um, with all the, like, black for the darkest parts and, um, I guess I need to look more into, like, how things are colored in some of my comic books. That might give me a hint as to how to color them. This, I imagine, colored. This would look really cool, though, with the explosion here. I had that page marked, but I do not. I love this one. Oh, good, I do have it marked. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh, and these are perforated. Um, I just noticed feeling these. They're so you can pop them out when you're done. Oh, and that's it. All right. Thank you for watching us flip through these three Disney themed coloring books. 
We'll see you next time. Thanks.